with your gracious permission, will be completely honest and candid with you. I should tell you how we did it, how we did it, um, why we did it, and the manner in which it was received. First, let me tell you something. Those who have been appearing on television channels saying this is going to impact India's relationship with the Muslim world, well, happy birthday, guys. Give me a break. Now, what do you think has happened with us? Let me put this in some perspective. First, Ms. Sharma has become internationally famous. In response to comments made by some rabid Muslim fellows, she made some remarks on the Prophet. Rightly or wrongly, I'm not going to comment on that. A few Muslim nations summoned our ambassadors to protest, but did not permit public demonstrations. Remembering the Arab Spring, you're probably too young, but that occurred in 2011. The outrage in some Arab nations over the remarks, we were told and are told privately, was for domestic consumption to divert people's attention from domestic challenges and international issues affecting Muslim nations. Some foreign leaders demanded a public apology from the government of India, knowing fully well that we would do no such thing. Such things are not done in diplomacy.